Many of us are familiar with images of black people, which are violent images or images of enslavement or some other negative imagery. The black presence, activism and agency in a different age gives us the opportunity to explore other images of black persons from around that time and shows how they were activists, how they were wealthy, and how they were in charge of their own destiny and how they aided the positive destiny of others. Join us as we explore this exhibition with Father Charles Curd Reynolds and we talk about some of these images and how they affect how we view ourselves and our history. So let's talk about Ignatius Sancho. Activist, playwright, actor, all-around businessman, quite a credit to himself, I think, at his time of life. What say you? Well, this, this is absolutely gorgeous portrait, and it, the original painting was by Thomas Gainsborough, who was the foremost society, or one of the foremost society portraitists of the later 18th century in England. And we know even which afternoon in Bath in England uh, this, was, this was painted because it's all, it's all recorded. Thomas Gainsborough and Ignatius Sancho moved in the same circles. They had the same friends, uh, actors, playwrights, political thinkers, sculptors. And so it, we can imagine that this was a very convivial afternoon where they were sitting together with Ignatius uh, sitting for his portrait. And we can see here uh, the light coming onto his face just slightly. And this, this was a, a sign of intelligence. This was a sign of a, a, of a learned and academic man, which, which is how Ignatius Sancho was, uh, was seen. He had worked uh, in an aristocratic household. He was born here in, in, in the Caribbean, in fact, on the Caribbean Sea, in that he, he was born on a, a slaver's ship. Um, his father committed suicide before the sat ship reached land, um, and his mother died soon after. It's a tragic, tragic story. And he was taken to London, rather as a popinjay, to, to live in a household with three spinsters, um, almost like a pet, but he had such a lively mind and had such a hunger for learning um, that he struck up a friendship with the Duke of Montague, who allowed him access to his library. And from there, he received uh, this elite education that allowed him to become a poet, a composer. He wrote a theory of music um, and tried his hand on the stage for a while. He was given a generous pension um, by the Montague family, in which he set up a, a grocery shop in Westminster in London. But this was a time when shopping was becoming a sort of uh, fashionable middle-class activity. And the shop was really ra rather like a salon in which politicians and artists and actors would come and gather in his shop. It wasn't commercially very successful. Sounds more like a Barbadian rum shop. <laughs> it was certainly, it was it certainly a, very, a very pleasant place to go and spend some time. Um, and I think all, all of that sort of sense of a, of, of, of a wonderful sort of generous character is, is captured in, the, in, in this wonderful engraving that was commissioned by his son. So Gainsborough gave him the painting, and then his son had this had this uh, engraving produced. His, his son became a, a publisher. Thank you for joining us as we examined and explored the black presence, activism and agency in another age. If you want to see more of these pictures, learn more about these people, or see some of the other things we have up on our walls in this exhibition, Come join us at the Barbados Museum and Historical Society. We look forward to meeting you.